Sometimes speed cubing is the best, and sometimes it's the worst. But either way, this was a competition we would not forget. We flew nearly 4,000 kilometers to compete in the Australian Cubing Championships in the beautiful city of Perth. Because this was nationals, qualifying standards were high, and it resulted in some victories and disappointments. But this was our experience, and we hope it helped you in some way. We're just waiting for Chingo's cube to arrive and there's one thing that I forgot to mention. Because you guys all loved it so much the last time, we've hidden those three special cubes again, the Silver Gold and Mysterious Midnight. Except this time it's way more harder. They're going to be hidden in all kinds of random places. Like there's one at your feet right now. Just kidding. Dad. Three cubes will be mixed up colors. So it might not be Silver Gold Black. If you don't want to get a spoiler of where they are, don't read the comments because everybody shouts them in the comments. And you can keep shouting them in the comments. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, I don't have favorites for something. Who just sounds so much stuff? <laughs> Whose signature is worth the most out of Felix, Ting Boy, Olo, and Ting Man? Ting Boy. Whose signature is worth second? Olo. Whose signature is worth third? Felix. Whose signature is worth last? Ting Man. I think I might need to judge. I'm judging Pira. Felix was at the front the, yeah, of the yellow that. thing. Did you see how many cameras were on him? Nine point seven two, but it's a plus two, so it's eleven. Does it count if I'm not sure? Oh, jeez. I think it's a DNF. Can I like not get a DNF next time? <laughs> yeah. Seven. I don't expect to make it into finals, and I never did, but I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't do very well for my round. Unfortunately, that's a DNF because the time limit is one minute. And Tim Boy both got some really bad solves. Oh no. There's now nearly 300 people at this comp. Only 100 people make it into round two. I didn't do really very well. Like I got a 14 but it doesn't count. But I got a 15, an 18 and a 19. And I ended up coming 100th place. So I was the last person to make it into second round. <laughs> you literally came 100. <laughs> you were like right on the very fence. Good job, Allah. Uh, high five. So I guess that's the end of the video. You can all stop watching now. What? Are you vlogging now? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, hi. This is Ozzy Nat, and we're going to jump. That's actually um, jump. Who is it? I'm catching live footage of him stealing a cube. This is a cube thief. You do not. Yeah, steal cube. We're doing a yeah. cube live. Oh my god. Is that a cube? Let's go steal it. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Minion. Yeah. Minion. Let's have a group photo. Hey, give us a wave. Five point two zero seven. Another five. I don't like where this average is going. Okay, we have a pen. The great pen problem is solved. The new camera. Thank you. Wow. Well, it's nearly time for Tig Boy to come meet. So, let's go watch those songs. Hello, camera. Tig Boy's about to solve some two by two. Question, competitor, do you even know how to solve two by two? Uh, it's just a three by three with that the centers and the edges. Oh, I hate to say it, but you actually have gone over one minute, so it is a DNA. Eight seconds. Nice, straight on 30. Oh, bad luck. Oh, Tingwa, how'd you go for two by two? Not very well. That was a rough one, wasn't it? 
I got two DNFs. I know. Which means I don't get an average. And the second DNF, you just DNF by like one second. I mean, I did a really good job on my last song. You did, didn't you? I got a 12 second. Yeah. That's a really, really good positive, isn't it? I was very disappointed because I DNF'd in 2x2 two two as well. And I almost never DNF'd oh, no. in 2x2. Two two. Anyway, we press on, don't we, Ting Boy? Steel's fine. Hey. <laughs> And now he'll never get it back. You need to watch the video upside down. What happened? No, right. I'm station 20. <laughs> I've missed the cut off by like two seconds. Oh. Yes! I made cut off. 106. 106 is better than my own PP. Hello, Allah. How was 4x4? Great. Right. Love it. Uh, the wind is blowing the hair with my cat. I ended up getting a 109 average. A 110 average is pretty good. Especially since 110 was the cutoff, so I got sub cutoff average. I hope you've been looking for the heat. In fact, there's one right here. Kidding. What? Hey. Well, there could be. What if there's one there? What if the gold one is hidden against the golden wood of the door? <gasps> look closely. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna make everyone just look all over for no reason. <laughs> In the last video, someone said that they watched the entire video on like 0.25 speed and took them like half an hour. Imagine uh, watching this part in 0.25 okay. speed. Hello, hello. <laughs> so random. Hello, Mike, can you hear me? Is it right? Probably won't make cut off. What is that? 145. 145. I don't actually know how good this is because I don't keep track of my 5x5 five five time. I made a song about how good dailypuzzles.com is. <laughs> That's amazing. It goes to never, never gonna give you up. Thank you so much. Daily Puzzles is the best even store. Woohoo! We might have found Ola's twin. Hi. Daily Puzzles gave me this free cube to give out, and if she can beat me in a game of chopsticks, then she gets it. Let's begin. Hey, Cartoon Ola here. If you're wondering what Daily Puzzles is, they're only the world's greatest Rubik's Cube store. Every single cube we used in this video came from Daily Puzzles. They always have cubes on sale, no matter when you visit their store. And they ship worldwide. We even have personalized cubing mats you can buy there, Ola and Ting Boy. And if you use either of our names as a discount code, you also get 5% off your entire order. It's really worth it. Visit dailypuzzles.com.au. Okay, back to the chopsticks game. <laughs> I'm not fast enough to get sub 30 yet, but it'll be quite easy to beat the 47 in the next comp. Subscribe to Ting then. Actually do because Ola is on the Ting Man channel and that's the only reason you should. Those one subs weren't amazing, but I did break my PR. Turns out that I have a PR streak and I keep it. Judges, remember, the clock is only solved. And then we were like, but it tells you the current time in London. 17. Unfortunately, the time in London is currently not 12 o'clock, so you did it. <laughs> that was good. Your clock time wasn't good enough, get it? Your clock time. <sighs> Who says the best jokes in the world? Not you. We're having a talent show. Oh, this is my talent. That is a talent. Everybody stand back. <laughs> Just a simple game of catch the cube. Oh. Oh. How do you feel about stealing a cube on someone in the tournament? Um, I don't, I don't feel too good, but since it's my cube, it, it doesn't matter. I am waiting for my mega to arrive and I've got the world's weirdest timer. This is zero. That, look, that's the time. And then look at my current time. 
If I make cutoff, then I'll be able to do five souls. And if I do five souls, I'll beat Daddy in Mega. Stop talking so much. I'm doing something very important. I'm on Uber Eats. But I got a 143 while warming up, so hopefully I'll be able to make cutoff. I can't believe your bad time is like better than my best time. So sad. Oh no. You're okay. That was a tough one, wasn't it, Allah? That's very disappointing. Got to do two songs. The Tingman family hasn't been getting a lot of good luck at this comp. What do you do to get through the difficult times? I mean, 145 is still a good time. It's a really good time, actually. You would have been so happy with 145 like earlier this year. You've improved so much with Mega Mings. Yeah, and ultimately, a cut of time is just a cut of time, right? Yeah. Cubing is a really tough thing, I reckon, because it's so numbers based. If you get it or you don't get it, man, you experience a huge high or a very low low. Next comp I'm going to in November will have Mega. Maybe I'll have a chance to try again. Mm, that's the spirit. That's what I want. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. just a message. <laughs> Both of us are saying like... <laughs> a message came through on my phone screen. It's about how we deal with disappointment, isn't it? Come on, Ola. We got this. You've got Scoob left, so all the best. You too. Please don't beat me. Wow. That's a new PR. Is it? Hang on, 5.4? Oh no, you better not have beaten me. My best Scoob is 5.5. <laughs> no. She just beat my best Scoob time by like 0, 0.0. Seven. Seven seconds. Ready. Well, that was a really challenging comp. At least there were some good things in it. Even if you don't get good times at this comp, you can get good times at the next comp. I've made a lot of friends and met a lot of people and just seen this wonderful place in Perth. And now I've been to Western Australia and done a comp there. I hope you spotted those three special cubes and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! If you like this video, you should watch that one and that one and then hit the subscribe button so hard that your phone or iPad or whatever smashes into a billion pieces hey. and then you throw them all into lava. Okay, don't do that. That's crazy.